All right, how about this? New year, new you. 2024 is less than three weeks away, which means it's time to start thinking about the things that you want to change. Yeah, for so many of us, that means boosting our wellness. It's so much more than just losing weight. So here to help us crush our New Year's goals yeah. is Kim Newman Savino. She's a healthy habits coach. She's the owner of the Revival Room um, with yoga and fitness. And I know you're always giving us tips on Instagram. Like, uh, we just can't like say, oh, I'm going to lose 20 pounds by next week. That's exactly. just not how you set a goal. <laughs> exactly right. Yeah. So let's talk about crushing your New Year's re uh, resolutions or goals. I always say to set an intention versus set a resolution. Okay. okay. So the reason why is because the resolution is kind of like the end game, the end result, and the intention is going to be the roadmap to get you there. Okay. okay. So, for instance, you said lose 20 pounds, right? I want to lose 20 pounds in 2024. Great. Maybe instead you say my intention is to move my body 10 minutes every day. Ah, so yeah. it's an intention of doing something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So moving, just getting up there and moving your Ten body. Ten minutes a day. Ten minutes like a day. Just having start like a, with something small and maybe build up. Well, yes. Because that's your next tip is we got to focus on one small goal at a time. Oh, like the way our. I didn't even know that was the next goal. The <laughs> <you're right> up. <laughs> In tune. Woo! I mean, this is really neuroscience. We don't do well with rapid change. So our brain is going to do, like, we need to change our habit. And to do that, is it true it takes, like, 21 days? Is that a, is that a real thing? We're 21? jumping ahead here. Yes. Yeah, so that's actually third point. But so let's go back to the one small goal. And I say this almost every time I'm here because it's that important. Yeah. You can't just, th like, think I'm going to do like X and it's something really big if you're really not even at the starting point. You have to get to the starting point. You have to really make it something you can bite off and chew. And I say something you can do even on a bad day. So yeah. make it something small and something you could do on a bad day. So moving 10 minutes a day or um, maybe it's just it's taking two minutes of stillness or maybe it's calling your parent or whatever it is that you something that you want to do make it very small that you can do even on a bad day okay well uh, and, and let's just say that uh, is it are we more successful at goals we actually want I think sometimes we set mm. these goals based on other people's expectations of us right absolutely you mentioned calling your parent if you want to call your parent every day <laughs> and a lot of us do yes. but if it's like something you don't really want to do we're not going to be that successful at it right yes that's actually a really good valid point um, so for instance if somebody wants to exercise saying I'm gonna to go to the gym if they're not a gym goer if they hate the gym I hate the gym that's it, then don't, then it's, make, that, then like don't make that a goal. Yeah. Maybe it's something like going for a walk or even putting music on and just dancing in your kitchen. Like, it's something that you actually want to do. That's a very valid um, point, Kara. Yeah. Okay. okay, so it's hard to really force ourselves to do something you want. But when it comes to, a lot of times we'll see if you want to start something new, a seven-day challenge, a 21-day challenge. Mm. I, I love challenges because I feel like it makes me do something. Absolutely. Um, uh, but so uh, tell us about the numbers and why they're important. Yeah, so it takes 21 days to develop a habit to build a habit, but it actually takes 90 days to make it a lifestyle. And that is the goal, right, is to to do something that you have forever. Because it's not really about the goal of just losing 30 pounds. It's losing 30 pounds and actually keeping it off. Or doing whatever it is that you want to do in your life and having it be something you can sustain forever. And it takes about 90 days. Everybody's different, right? And everybody has a different starting point or um, what they can tolerate. So just kind of a baseline or average takes about 90 days. 90 days. Mm -hmm. but, but, but to I, make the lifestyle change. But you start, yeah, again, so. that's overwhelming. I can see that's yeah, yeah. overwhelming. So that's why we would start with 21 days or maybe you just start with a seven day challenge and say, mm -hmm. I'm going to do that three times. Yes, absolutely. And I do suggest if it's something that you want to, you know, do in the next year, then start now before the holidays. Like start before January 1st. You see, Implement oh, it now. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because, it, okay, go mode on January 21st. What are you doing until then? Right. Or January 1st, rather. Right. Um, you want to really make sure that you're, like, implementing the small little things now. I think vacation's a good time to do that. We have a little more time so we can work yeah. on things. Yeah, yeah right. that's a, I'd yeah. like to reduce the amount of sugar in my life. Yeah, that's actually something my wife's working on. So, oh, seriously? Yeah, and she's like, after the holidays. And I'm like, no, no but No, we can do now. it now. We yeah, it's it really now. hard through the holidays because there's so much temptation. But you did a good job just now. Like, you didn't eat the cookie. Yeah, I was like, Which maybe yeah, that's yeah. a small change. Like, I'm not going to eat the baked goods on Great Day, which is very hard to do. But Yes. Or I'm only going to eat them on Fridays, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, for more I information like or to get in touch with Kim, you can visit the revivalroom.com or follow her on Instagram at healthy underscore habits underscore coach. Kim, we can't thank you enough for being with us. Thank you for having Always me. Good. Great idea.